Welcome back everyone to Fallout and we are about to go home back to the vault. Uh, this video is due to be released on the 11th which is Fallout release day, uh, at least in the UK here. I don't know if it's coming out any sooner in America but it is due to be released today and I apologise in advance I have a shocking cold uh, so I don't know how my voice sounds at the moment. I'm going to try and avoid sniffing and what have you <laughs> as we go through and I'll pause to cough um, but yeah a bit of a bad one. But anyway, guys, we find ourselves back in Vault 13 here, back home with the water chip. That's a weapon, says that guy. So best take something out of our inventory here and just get rid of our weaponry. Don't want any fights. Hi, Natalia error. So I don't quite know what's happened there. But <laughs> So let's head over to the lift and start working our way through the vault and get the water chip back and installed slowly slowly as always lift closes here we go second level first off we're gonna dash over to this door here with the red haired lady in and just pick up a quick conversation with her Teresa as she's called how fares your journey? It's going pretty well, thanks. Apart from the multiple deaths and shootings and God knows what. The outside world couldn't be as bad as everyone says, right? I mean, our ancestors lived outside, right? That was before the bombs dropped, though. The outside world is dangerous, I suppose. And there we go. Easy, 750 XP. Peacefully calming the vault's revolutionary faction so I guess Teresa and whoever follows Teresa wanted to leave the vault wanted to go outside and as we do a quick little check here nothing there to pick up so it's back over to the lift and down to level three or up to level three I'm not quite sure I guess it's down <laughs> well here we go we nip over to the water guard first Ask him how he's doing. Not feeling very well. Someone cracked my head with a big pipe. I went to the medic, but my head still... I don't know why I find that funny. <laughs> uh, they tapped me uh, pretty late one night. Usually I go home by eight or so. But I was stopping late. And I woke up with a big bump on my head. So it sounds like someone is stealing water. I guess it's all in those lockers there. But it must be because it's the water guard there. My brain is fuzzled today. <laughs> so, we go in here, go in this room, and it's time to hide. Time to wait. Until the dead of night. And here we go. There's a fella just come out of the lift. He's snooping around. And there we go, he finally makes his way over to the locker, clearly stealing something. So it's time to run after him now. And we just catch him before he goes into the lift. What are you doing here at this time? Had a nightmare, couldn't get to sleep. Looking for a water thief, need to see what you're carrying. Leave me alone. Get a bit nasty with him, would you rather have a bullet in your head? Now, I thought I'd resolve this peacefully. Clearly haven't. Because I was just going to search his pockets and be done with it. But now he wants to attack me. Don't want to get me gun out. Because I don't want to end up having to destroy the entire vault. So, just try hand to hand. Dogmeat gets involved. I actually really don't want to kill this guy. I thought we could maybe take him in for questioning or something. Ian just literally beats him to death while he's down. And that is the water thief unfortunately with his crowbar and water there that is him dead unfortunately so I do the right thing I actually put that one flask back because I'm a nice guy or a nice lady as I'm playing as Natalia and it's time to head deeper into the vault and speak with the overseer finally you found the chip Okey-dokey, one moment, the chip is initializing. You're, 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 there it goes. 
goes. Self-test is grain. Reboot is good. Ha! It's working! And it looks like we have a winner! <laughs> oh, you've... You've saved us. You've done it. You saved the vault. You should be proud. But now we need your report. We'll get it from you in the library. Please, go there now. And there we go, water chip delivered. We're in the library. Time to level up. I'll put some skill points in at least because we've just leveled up there. So I'm really focusing on energy weapons at the minute because I am still hoping and praying that I'm going to find the alien blaster at some point. And I'm also trying to make sure that I can heal up as well as possible, dumping some points in a doctor. And because I didn't resolve that last situation peacefully enough, getting some points into speech and finally repair. just wanted to let you know that the water supply is stabilized. Actually, we're rebuilding our reserves. You did great. I, uh, I am a little concerned, however. I, I don't like your reports. What was in the reports, that is. <laughs> in fact, they scared the heck out of me. It's those mutants. I've done some calculations and... Well... I've come to an unpleasant conclusion. <sighs> the mutant population is far greater than could be expected by natural growth or mutations. This leads me to believe that... I don't really understand it, but... It looks like someone's generating new mutants. And at a startling rate. Exactly. And as you've probably guessed, none of these mutations could have occurred naturally even with the radiation from the war. As long as someone is creating hostile mutants at this rate, the vault's safety is at stake. Find and destroy this lab as soon as you can. You have no idea how sorry I am to send you back out. So there we go, vault saved, but this guy wants to send us out again. Uh, to go and destroy the super mutants or whoever's creating the super mutant army. So first off, time to wander back over to Shady Sands. Get some more supplies and see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. We eventually decide to go to the entrance, as you do. And we speak to the guard out the front, Seth. One of the very first guys we spoke to in the game. But there's an issue. Tandy has been kidnapped. And raiders have got her. So there's a camp at the southeast. We're going to go and rescue her. Again, she is quite important. So it's probably best that we go and save her, to be fair. Finally get our hurry on. And off we go. Over. To the raider camp not just any raiders as you'll see when we get there this is the Khans. so we run inside the building where tandy is being held held captive get ourselves in front of the Khans leader gal want to try and negotiate this peacefully if we can he believes us when we say we're gonna unleash serious weaponry, serious firepower on him. He lets us go free. And away we go, just like that. Nice and easy, nice and peaceful. Time to get Tandy back home again. And we set back off on the journey back over to Shady Sands. Eventually. Let's go and pick up with Handy. Let's go and pick up with Aradesh. 
let him know what the situation is. And there we are, Tandy delivered back safely. Nice little XP there as well, 500 for freeing her, 400 for returning her. The entire town is grateful. Let's mooch on in. See who we can speak to, like I say, I want to go and try and catch up with Aradesh. You think he'd be quite grateful that we just saved his daughter. I will be forever in your debt for your courage and bravery, Wanderer. Here is your reward. Certainly. What do you wish to know? Until we meet again, my friend. Don't even know what he gave us there as our reward. Not very much. I would have been expecting caps, guns, ammo, you name it. But doesn't seem like we got very much. I want to give Ian a little freebie at this point. Because apparently there is a way you can reverse steal, but I haven't actually got the hang of that. Um, so I just give him the magnum for free. Or Desert Eagle, should I say. So he can finally stop roundhousing people now. He's equipped with a deagle and plenty of ammo. And we're going to need it because we want to head out back over to the Cairns. Because I'm a scumbag and we're just going to go and take them out, to be fair. <laughs> And here we go, as always, fight sped up, because it is incredibly slow going, but we're one by one, taking the cans out, thinning out their numbers. waiting for Gal to come out the leader and here he comes I imagine he's going to sponge the bullets he's getting shot in the head at point blank range here out of ammo familiar and finally Gal falls the leader of the Cairns and that's surely the end of the gang now Couple more people inside to to take out and to worry about. Stuck in the room, thanks to dog meat blocking the doorway. Go all the way around. Take these guys out here. They were hiding around the back. I mean, he's getting shot in the face at point blank range and he's just getting a broken nose, he's pretty lucky that guy. And there we go, finally, the raiders of the Cairns are gone. We talked to the lady, bruised and battered woman, thank you for saving me. And after grabbing all the loot, it's time once again to go back over to the hub for another gambling and shopping trip. Get as much money as we can from uh, the gambling and stock up on our ammo and weaponry. And as we arrive in Old Town, we go and speak with Vance, who is kind of a, an arms dealer or deals with other things as well and what we need from Vance is plenty of Radaway and Radix for our next trip so as always start the shopping process incredibly slow the trading process whatever you want to call it and we take all the Radix and all the Radaway that this guy is carrying And we also head back over to Jacob, the arms dealer. Get rid of our grenades. 
because we are absolutely hopeless with grenades and explosives in general. Getting the Geiger counter. Again, we'll need that very, very shortly for where we're heading. I'm just checking, is there anything else that I can sell? Our next stop sees us back at the all-in-one store. Again, can we get any Radix, any Radaway just to protect us? Anything that this guy's carrying that's of any use whatsoever. Nothing there that we need. So it's time to nip back over to the Maltese Falcon. Quick little bit of gambling. Quickly top our caps up. Because we'll be heading over to the Brotherhood eventually. And we're going to need those caps. Caps in hand. Tap my head for the exit of the hub. Back out again. And as we make our way out of the town, slowly but surely, we get ready for our journey, long journey over to the glow. And guys, that is where you will find us in the next episode. Hope you enjoy the show tonight if you're watching and hope you enjoyed this series so far. And I'll see you all in the next episode.